case, unit four test review, ratios and proportions. Okay, express the ratios in the lowest fractional form. Remember, ratio just compares two numbers, one number, another number. So 33 to 21, but then you need to reduce it. You can use the ABC function on your calculator. That will reduce it in the lowest terms. But if you do that, 33 ABC 21, you get 1 and 4 sevenths. That's not an acceptable answer. So you need to put that into an improper fraction. So 7's on the bottom. So 1 times 7 is 7. And then 7 plus 4 is 11. So it's 11 to 7 is the ratio. 10 pounds to 35 pounds. That reduces to 2 fifths right away. Or 2 sevenths, my bad. Okay. You divide them both by 5, or you can do the ABC. 3 inches to 36 feet. You can't do 3 with 36 when you have inches and feet. It's not going to work. You have to do a unit conversion. So you know there's 12 inches to 1 foot. Now I'm going to fill in this side of the proportion across from the 1. So how many feet do I have? Well, I have 36 feet. So if I cross multiply and divide, that's 432 inches. So now I know that that is 432 inches. And now you can write your ratio. 3 to 432. Now if you ABC that, it stays the same because it's already in simplest form. Okay, 20 centimeters to 0 0.5 meters. Again, we can't use those because this is centimeters, this is meters, so we have to do a conversion. So 100 centimeters to 1 meter. Again, it's easier if you convert the 1 that's across from the 1, directly across from it. So how many meters do you have? You have 0 0.5. Cross multiply and divide, you get um, 50. So 50 centimeters, and now you can reduce your ratio. 20 to 50, that reduces to 2 to 5. <coughs> 150 meters to 45 hundredths of a kilometer. Again, you can't use that ratio. You need to use your unit conversions. Okay, so... Um, well, again, we want to fill in the 1 across from the 1, so I'm going to fill in the 0 0.45, cross multiply, divide, you get 450. So 450 goes right there. Then you ABC that, and that ABCs to 1 third. Okay, next is a table. It says the cost and selling price of merchandise is listed in the table. Determine the profit, then determine the cost cost to selling price ratio and the cost to profit ratio. So first off, we got to figure out our profit. Well, something costing me $90 and then I turn around and sell it for $105. The profit is found by taking 105 minus 90. So it would be a $15 profit. 290 minus 220 is a $70 profit. 27 minus 15 is a $12 profit. 600 minus 550 is a $50 profit. Okay, now you're just going to write some ratios and simplify them. Ratio of cost to selling price. Cost selling price would be 90, 105, but then you got to reduce the ratio. ABC it on the calculator reduces to 6 sevenths. They divide both by, both divide by 15 evenly. Okay, 220 to 290, it's going to be 22 to 29 when simplified. 15 to 27, ABC that's 5 ninths. 550 to 600. And simplify it. And it simplifies to eleven to twelve. 
Okay, cost of profit. So the cost is 90, the profit's 15. Now if I go 90, ABC 15, I get 6. That's not a ratio. You get a whole number, you put 6 to 1. Okay, 220 to 70. ABC that. If you ABC it, you get 3 and 1 seventh. Again, that's not an acceptable ratio. 7 can go to the bottom, but to find the top, you got to take your whole number times 7. <coughs> that's 21 plus 1 is 22. 22 to 7. Okay, 15 to 12. Cost to profit, 15 to 12. That's 1 and a fourth if you ABC it, but again, that's not going to work. 1 times 4 is 4, plus 1 is 5. You could also just divide those by 3 right away, 5 fourths. But that's up to you. Okay, this one, you're going to have 550 to 50. And that's going to be 11 even, so you put 11 to 1. Right here is just cross, multiply, and divide. That's going to be 1. Seventeen point five, two point two, and one twelve. Now, next thing, you have a table you have to fill out. So, as the volume of gas decreases, the relationship between pressure and volume of a confined, of a confined gas is graphed. Use the given values in the table to compute the missing values. Okay, in this table, P1 represents the original pressure of gas. V1 then represents the original volume. Okay. Now P2 represents what the new pressure of the gas is, and V2 represents the new volume of the gas. Now the graph is there to help you. It's actually 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. As that goes up, okay, as that goes up, the volume of the gas you can see going down. So it's an inverse proportion, okay? So to rate to an inverse proportion means I'm going to go P1, P2, and then V2, V1. You invert it because as this increases in the graph, this is decreasing. Okay, it's inverse. Okay, then once that's set up, it's easy. P1, we don't know. 65. V2 is 3. And V2 is 5. Cross, multiply, and divide that, you get 39. Okay, P1 here is 90. I don't know P2. V2 is 1.5. V1 is 2. Okay, I've just got to go in exactly like that. Cross, multiply, divide, you get 120. And you can kind of tell the original pressure... Um, start at 39, so the volume is 5, but then when they increase the pressure, the volume goes down, as you can see in the graph right there, and that should be the case every time. Okay, P1, 250, P2, 100, V2 is 1.9, and cross multiply and divide, you get 0 0.76. <coughs> <coughs> Okay, so we got 4 and 4.5, and then unknown and 12. Cross multiply and divide, you get 10.6, repeating, or 10 and 2 thirds. That's good. Okay, and then these last problems. Machine produces 280 pieces in 3.5 hours. How long does it take to produce 720 pieces? So we have pieces and hours, but you want to arrange it so the pieces are together and the hours are together. So I know the piece is 280 and 720. We have that much. Now, where am I going to set the 3.5 hours? Well, it depends if this is inverse or direct. 
as the number of pieces increase, then the time the machine runs for us to increase. So that is a direct proportion. So then you set 3.5 directly across from 280, because that's what it goes with. Cross multiply and divide that, you're going to get 9. Okay, four people can paint a fence in three hours. How long will it take six people to paint it? So you got people and hours. So the people we have four and then six. I gotta decide where to put that three. Now as the number of people that I have working on the job go up, then the time it takes to do the job goes down, okay? So that is inverse. So we will do not put the three directly across from the four, we put it diagonal, okay? Cross multiply divide, it's two. Okay, this is, I need to change the liters to meters. A tank is six meters high, it contains 7,200 liters when it's full. How much liquid would there be if it's filled to 3.4 meters? So meters and liters. You have your meters six and 3.4. Now as the meters go up, then the liters you're able to put in a tank go up too. So that's again direct. So then I've set 7,200 directly across from 7,200 from the six. <coughs> Cross multiply and divide that. It's going to be um, 4,080. Then the last problem: a crankshaft speed of a car is 2,915 revolutions per minute. That's how many times it, it goes around when the car is traveling at 55.75 miles per hour. What's the crankshaft speed with the cars traveling only 42.5 miles per hour? So you've got revolutions per minute and you've got miles per hour. Well, we have our miles per hour. We have 55.75, 42.5. Now, as the revolutions per minute increase, it goes round faster than the miles per hour increase. So that's, again, direct. So we set 2915 directly across from the 55.75. Cross multiply and divide to get two, about 2222.